Hi, good afternoon everyone. This is Jackie here from Soul Scribe Calligraphy and welcome to Irish Wedding Chat. And today we are going to be talking to Paul of Shabby Tech. So without further ado, I'm going to bring on Paul and we can have a natter. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Paul. How are you? Doing good. Um just going to fly through some questions with you, have a chat, and then I will be out on my bike doing some local deliveries today. So, Excellent. yeah, that's that's my day. Let's hope the rain stays off. It's been fairly miserable. Well, it most has. of July it's been fairly miserable, but, yeah, yeah. we'll see how we go. Well, they're saying there's a little bit of a heat wave coming, so let's cross our fingers and hope that the weather guys have actually got the uh, predictions right for once, huh? Well, uh, the way I see it is we have two seasons, wet and cold and wet, so <laughs> I hope, hope, hope I'm wrong, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. Hope it is sunny. Yeah, well, let's hope so anyway. So, Paul, I'm going to go off screen here for a little while and give you a couple of minutes to introduce yourself and the business and let everybody know a little bit about what you do, okay? Sure, yeah, no problem. Okay. Hi everyone, afternoon. My name's Paul from Subitech, uh, full name Paul McCaw. Um, to give you an idea, the, the business Subitech had actually came about from, believe it or not, I had a serious injury. I was at the gym and uh, I had a, an unfortunate accident with some weights and I ended up doing quite severe damage to my spine. So uh, while I was waiting for spinal surgery, I was flat out on the sofa every single day um carla she would have went to work that's my, my wife and uh, business partner she would have went to work um i had my phone but once the the phone battery ran out i couldn't physically get up because of the injury so i had to wait until she came home and i was sort of twiddling my thumb for a couple of hours in the late afternoon so i thought i need to, I need to be able to get something i couldn't get uh, an extension cable long enough so i thought i'll, I'll get a power bank so um got one arrived eventually and I looked at it and I thought, it's all right, it's functional. It's garbage, it doesn't look very good. It's this blocky industrial brick. I could do so I could do better. I've got time on my hands. I'm no artist, but let's see what I can come up with. So while I was waiting for the surgery, I then spent um, a number of weeks in discussions with manufacturers, um, designs to and fro and and four months later, then we, we came up with the, the very first Subitech power banks. And that's basically where the, the, the business has then developed from. Um, as time's gone on, we've then done things like, we, you obviously all seen the, the disco glow in the dark cables, normal cables. Um, we've moved on to content creator kits, things like that as well. So the business is starting to grow, but that's, that's, where, we, that's where I came from anyway, in terms of how the, the business started. That's excellent, Paul. It's a fantastic introduction. I have to say, I've been following you for a little while on social, and I think we actually connected on Twitter. So yeah, it's uh, great to learn a little bit more about what you do, and also where you actually started. I'm surprised to learn that you had a back injury, and I'm, you know, I hope I hope you recovered okay. Oh, surgery was fine. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm now. What's the phrase they say? Uh, the Terminator. I've got a titanium implant in my neck now, so anytime I have to go abroad i go through the scanner machine at the airport it's beep 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 here's my doctor's letter i've got titanium on my neck sorry but yeah no all, all good all good excellent excellent tell me uh paul what kind of problems can you solve for for a customer um i'm kind of envisioning somebody sort of um at a, um, a fair or something like that that you know have you know we're on our phones a lot you know we might even be taking payments or things like that so what kind of uh, problems can you solve for customers okay if we're, if we're talking about our core business the the power banks um we offer freedom that, that's an, an easiest way to describe it if you are um out and about and your phone's running low you, you're gonna have to look a wall socket have i got a plug with me um the power banks basically it's a case of just plugging it in putting it in your bag job done if now we have a couple of uh, a couple of customers have come back to us to say that they were at trade fairs they were at different shows markets things like that and they're able to not only power their card reading machines because these days a lot of people use um, their cards to pay for stuff so it's important to have something like a card reading machine 
um, to be able to have that and have the backup known should there be a power failure or something that you're not going to lose a sale. So I would say it gives people the freedom to not have to worry about a, a wall socket to go and do what they need to do. Because if your phone's plugged into the wall socket, you're generally not too far away from it. So mm -hmm. if you can just put the, the phone while it is charging in your bag, your coat, your pocket or whatever, you can get on with your life knowing that it's it's powering away and you're, you're not going to be running out of battery. Yeah, you said um, card reading machines. So your power bank um, has the facility to actually power other, um, sort of power, charge up other gadgets then. Oh, yeah. It, it has two. Um, I'm actually going to show you if, I, if oh, you don't okay. mind. Yes. No, no. Not so at all. We have a, a number of colors. Uh, let's have a look. So there we go. You can see we have black, blue, white, and pink. And if I get you the white one, because it's probably easiest to show you. Okay. You can see those oh. two larger slots. Yeah. That means you can charge two things at the same time. Excellent. So you can charge a phone, tablet, sat navs, Kindles, um, card reading devices have also been been used as well. Um, yeah. Torches. Um, we've done my son who's diabetic. We've done his uh, insulin monitor. We've kept that going as well. Um, so yeah, it can, it can do more than things than just more things than just a phone, but a phone wow. would be sort of the the main use of it. But yeah, yeah, you can charge more than one thing at the same time if you're out and about. It means then if you're out say for a trip with the family or whatever, and you're down at the beach all day, it means then you can have the phone if it runs down. If someone's listening to music or using the the camera a lot, taking lots of video, just yeah. stick it on that, and that means you're not going to miss anything as well. You'll be able to capture all those moments. Excellent. It'd be good for conferences, wouldn't they? Yeah, again, it, it boils down to, I've seen so many conferences I've been at, people huddled around wall sockets, and it's just, you don't need to do that. If you just invest in something like this, it will last you a long time, and it's the convenience of it, convenience and freedom. And can I just ask you, how much is one of your power banks, then? We usually have some sort of offer on, but the usual retail price is twenty five ninety nine plus postage. Oh, my gosh. That's With quite, that, that's really good value. It's not bad. You can you can get at least two, three, uh, depending on the the type of phone you've got or the gadget you're uh, you've got. You can get at least two or three full charges from one of the power banks before you would then have to actually charge the power bank itself. So it covers all phones and gadgets because it comes with the three free charging cables that you get with it. So oh. it's actually much smaller cables. You're probably used to the one meter, the two meter. Um, that you would normally charge your phone with, but these are their small 30 centimeter ones. Uh, it's more mm -hmm. for convenience. So if you're wanting to charge your phone and put it in your bag, you're not sort of fighting with a meter cable trying to plug things in. It's a small thing that you then just sort of fold over, uh -huh. stick in your bag, job done. Job done. Yeah, excellent, excellent. That kind of nicely brings me on to the next question I ask um, for you, Paul. Um, I just need to cough just one second. <clears throat> we spoke about exceeding customer expectations during our Twitter Q&A yesterday, which I have to say was brilliant. It was so fast and furious, and you, and you were just oh, amazing on Twitter. Uh, well done. <laughs> but we, we successfully then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So can you, can you sort of outline for me briefly what you meant about uh, uh, exceeding customer expectations sure um we all know we've all been locked down we've been stuck in the house business has been really slow for a lot of people yeah for us it's been the complete opposite with people being at home they're doing a lot of online shopping so we've been really busy so thankfully that's been very good for us but i i'm just aware that it's not always been good for everybody um if we look at it from the point of view of the sort of sector that you're interested in the the wedding side of things um weddings are now becoming uh, they're, they're being allowed again, the restrictions are slowly being lifted, more people are going to be looking into doing um, their weddings, putting plans back on track again. You need to be able to distinguish yourself from another, say, wedding supplier, somebody else that's doing something you're doing. You need to be doing more, you need to stand out from the crowd, because if somebody's going down adverts or something like that, they may have a fancy graphical advert that stands out, but the most important thing that will make you stand out is personal recommendations, social proof, as we call it. And to get social proof, you need to do that little bit more. You need to be able to do things 
that are directly related to your service or your business or what it is you do but you also need to be able to do and handle things that are nothing really to do with what you do but it's how you handle those things for example if you have somebody coming to you to say can you provide this service but you don't provide that service it's very easy to just say oh no sorry i don't do that yeah. uh, the, the the customer or client they're gonna go oh, okay that right thanks goodbye and go off and find somebody else and not remember you either yeah exactly so yeah. what will make you stand out and what will stick in their head something simple like i, I don't actually know the answer to that but if you give me your contact details, I will find out and I will let you know. Yeah. Now that, that hasn't cost you anything really. A quick Google search for an address or something like that, or if you're on Twitter or social media, put a quick question out. Does anybody know anybody who can provide this or whatever? And come back to the customer and say, look, I'm sorry I couldn't help, but here's somebody who hopefully will be able to help. Yeah. That person is gonna remember that you've done that. Okay, you've not provided a service for them, but you have, exceeded what they were expecting whenever you said no to start with i don't have that a lot of people would have went right no but you have went above and beyond that and that's going to stick in somebody's head and that's sort of a, a recommendation or that sort of uh positive outcome for that person okay you couldn't help them but that outcome will stay in their head if you now i'm, I'm going to go back into if you're providing a service um and they're looking for it do that little bit extra make yourself stand out more if you make yourself stand out more from the other guy that's doing the same sort of business as you you're going to get people that are going to be talking about the service you provided how good it was what you did for them and oh wow i paid for this service but they actually gave me this and they also did this for me as well and this is all about positive social proof because people buy from people whether it's a service a product Rec advert, adverts like Facebook adverts, Google ads are all well and good. They, they're sort of a, a catch all, get your name out there a little bit. But it's the social proof. It's the people recommending you, talking about you when you haven't even paid them. Like you've got Facebook ads that you pay for. If you're getting somebody recommending your business or service to somebody else verbally, that carries a lot more weight than just a Facebook ad that you're generally going to flick or scroll through or whatever. So it's all about going that little bit extra doing a little bit more for them. Um, I'll give you a quick example. Okay, it's not wedding related, but it's something okay. that we do here. Uh -huh. One of the latest products we've launched is a, a content creator kit. And to make it stand out, to, to give somebody a smile whenever they open the, the, the mail sleeve to see what they've got, we gift wrap it as if it's a gift because they, they either bought it as a gift for somebody who can go, oh, right, that's pre-wrapped already. Excellent. Here's your birthday present. If it's somebody they bought it for or if they open it, it's like... Who, who doesn't like opening presents when they get something really nicely gift wrapped? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a product they bought for themselves, but it's it's that initial, oh, wow, look, at they've done, they've, they've gift wrapped this. It's, it's just going that little bit extra, doing that little bit more that will stick in the head. And when people then set, uh, post up things online, like, look, it's just arrived, taking photographs of it, that's social proof. That's people enjoying the buying experience. And they're going to tell more people about look what I got, this is how it came, and posting up and sharing it with their friends. Yeah. That's far more than adverts, and that's basically what you can do to exceed what somebody expects of you as a basic service. Do that a little bit more. It'll grow your business, and oh. basically your customers will then look after your business if you look after your customers. Absolutely, yeah. I'm just thinking about last night, the amount of people that came on and were singing your praises. <laughs> you know that was right. brilliant yeah. right I didn't <laughs> I the post today anybody who came on said something nice go to the post office shortly as well <laughs> well i i thought i thought it was amazing you had so many people coming on and saying yeah you know they they go that extra little mile and that will stick i mean it's sticking in my head i still remember that like you know and i have to say like the first time i heard about you um, was through a cut through a referral so you know um, somebody had run out of power pulled out one of your um, uh, power banks and said oh there you go and it was a lovely color and it was from shabby tech so that was the first time I actually heard of you hearing you Ross. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, that, that, that's first-hand evidence of somebody who has got something nice and you're like oh look at that okay visually a product can be really good 
but it's the it's the the personal recommendations that will basically take you from a to b to z really really quickly Absolutely. a lot of companies do pay lip service to customer service but but they don't they do enough they do a basic level and expected level but they rarely go above that and that's why i i would i would quite confidently say i'm confident in our products but i look after customers more because i know that as a byproduct of looking after my customers doing that little bit extra from them i'm going to get more customers and i'm going to get more customers and so on and that's how i built the business up you can tell from the amount of reviews we have um been very very happy so far with the amount of reviews we've got but i would say over 60 percent of all our five star reviews have been for the service products are great yes but they always mention the service little Absolutely. things like personalizing an address label making mm -hmm. somebody smile when they see an address label coming in so they're already in a, in a good positive mindset whenever they're they're opening their package never mind what's this gray bag or what's this brown box that's arrived from amazon if you yeah. do some just the, the little things so i can't emphasize enough if you do the little things big things will naturally follow absolutely i totally agree with you okay i'm going to sort of veer away from the business for a little while and talk about you and your little boys and yeah. your okay. family and your and your wife and um so last night during the twitter chat you happened to mention i was just sort of um following the conversation i didn't take part but you happened to mention to somebody that your wife carla had taken out your twin boys to go and splash in the puddles mm -hmm. so i'm curious to know like it must be hard to have a young family and a young business how do you handle that um i've said before if you really really want something if it is a goal of yours because i've always wanted to work for myself i've always wanted to have my own business i've wanted to be able to do things that i want to do mm -hmm. i want to be able to eventually pay myself what i think i'm worth not what somebody else thinks i'm worth yeah um, so if you really really want something you'll make the time for it um i can't really Hand on heart, I can't really remember the last time I sat down to actually watch TV. Um, the odd time I, I try and spend a little bit of time with Carla, she knows that the business takes up a lot of time at this stage of the business and building it up. So she is aware, but you have to basically times set the business to one side and, and spend some time with your family. So I would sit down and watch maybe a little bit of Netflix or something with Carla, have a chat, how's your day gone? Yeah. What's the plans, what's happening? Um, yeah, as you mentioned, I've, I've twins as well, so uh, yeah, a, yeah, a, lot, yeah. a, lot, a lot of people refer to them as all oh, the the terrible twos or double trouble, or I think I've heard all the cliches for being a, a dad of a, a set of twins. But um, one one of my twins, Lewis, he's, he's actually diabetic, so he he he's too young to recognise symptoms. So there's quite a wee bit of work involved in making sure he's healthy checking his, his blood sugar levels, things like that as well. Um, he is going to learn how to do it, obviously, when he gets a bit older, but because he is so young, he's not able to do the, the full medical side himself. So that does take a little bit of time. And then obviously as well with the uh, marketing, finance, sorting out orders, things like that as well. I do have a, an older daughter, Eva. Um, she's uh, she's at the age now where she would rather bear with her friends, shall we say. So um, if I'm really stuck and we do have quite a deluge of orders, then I'll say, look, Eva, can you can you call around here and give us a hand? But generally, it's it's me doing everything. But if you're doing 14, 16 hour days, six days a week or whatever, um, you, you do need time to sort of switch off, phone okay. off. I would do it on a... a I wouldn't say on a daily basis, but I would do it possibly every couple of days, leave the phone in the house and just go for a walk. Just while I'm out walking, try, I know it's hard. Anybody who is a, a self-employed knows exactly what it's like. You, you're constantly thinking of what I need to do, what I need to do, but just go for a walk, go for the, the simple thing, sit down beside a river and as much silence as you can, just watch the water, just de-stress as well. So yeah, it takes it's a lot of time and effort, uh, but you do have to have a balance. You don't want burnout. So yeah, no, but I'm enjoying it. I, I, I enjoy my idea of good fun is to nothing business related. I would fire up my virtual DJ decks, play some trance music or build Excellent. PC as a sideline. I, I do gaming, custom gaming PCs for, 
for paying clients as well. It's not something I do seriously, but just from word of mouth referrals again from years ago when I used to do it more serious, I would get the old person. So, oh, there we uh, go. Really that's, really really technology. so that's, that's where the tech comes from. If ah. you really want, if you really want to hear something a bit strange, um, the actual name Subby Tech is derived mm. from two things. <laughs> oh, I cringe now when I think about it, but I used to be known as DJ Subby and tech because I've always had a love of technology. So Subby ah. Tech. DJ Shabby. DJ okay. <laughs> Back in the day. It, it, uh, well, Sharon, I just want to mention this. Sharon from Poise and Presence has uh, left a comment to oh. say hi to Sharon. She says, hi, guys. That is the best thing you can do to build a re reputation precisely. I think that's the customer service. So thanks for joining us, Sharon. We were talking about you earlier, so I hope your ears were burning. <laughs> Envelopes in the post, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shabby Tech, I'm, I'm DJ Shabby. I'll look out for that now. <laughs> DJ Shabby. Yeah, if, if you look me up on YouTube, um, there's a few mixes I've done there, but it, it's maybe music that wouldn't suit everybody. But it's how I, how I sort of unwind and relax, just get some tunes on, head, headphones on before it's uh, I get some two little hands pulling up my legs and daddy, daddy, daddy. But <laughs> yeah. at, at four years old, people can sort of relate to that, especially when you have two, one on each leg. Anyway, right. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You can digress. I, I, I it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Let me ask you. Um, what is the the dream for your business, Paul? But right, okay. To sort of before I answer that, just to give you a little bit of perspective. Um, okay. At the moment, I would say it's just about it's about eighty two percent or so. So just over eighty percent of our sales would be to mainland UK. Um, we're based here in Northern Ireland. Um, we don't really have a lot of customer. I don't know why. It's something I'm I'm looking to actively sort out and to do a bit more promotion here in the north. Um, we don't have too many customers here, but the goal for the business would be to be more recognized, be the go-to people. Um, oh, my phone cables broke. Where am I going to get another one? Oh, instead of going to Amazon, have you tried, have you tried Subitech? Cables are excellent quality, very affordable, and you're supporting a local business as well. Because um, I do believe being a local business to support other local businesses, that's real, especially now that we're coming out of the, well, hopefully coming out of the COVID situation, um, I think it's a mindset thing where you're all used to, I need this straight on Amazon to stop that. Who's local? Um, and if you're in the area of social media or whatever, find out what local businesses are on social media, what services they offer, and go to the local business, support them, put money in a local business rather than a multi, multi billionaire based on whatever island he's on or, or in America, whatever, support local, basically. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. Like, you know, it's always better to support local, I think. that. I mean, like um, as far as I know, I can't remember what the statistics are, but it's a really high percentage of uh, small businesses are the backbone of the economy. You know, oh, absolutely. It's, not, it's yeah. not the big ones, it's the small businesses. So it's yeah. really, really important we support each other. And we were saying before we uh, came on to the live is, you know, when we lift somebody up, we're lifting ourselves up. So when we support oh, somebody, yeah, yeah, you know, so like when we're supporting people, I think, you know, it, it doesn't matter if it's just a retweet or a like on Instagram or a comment on Facebook, it really doesn't matter. It's that support. And we can feel it as well as small businesses, I think, you know. Um, I don't know how you feel about that, but I think I feel it anyway. Oh, I, I, I couldn't agree more. There's there's a number of, um, I'm thinking more along the lines of uh, people I know through Twitter who are based here in, in Northern Ireland, where um, there's a guy who owns a, a beard company, a beard care company. He actually he posted up saying, look, I'm having problems with Royal Mail and posting our products. It's just it just doesn't fit through the large letter, so it's costing me whatever it was, five pounds or something, to send as a as a parcel. So I got in touch with them and I said, "Look, I'm Paul. I, I own Subway Tech. Um, I had the exact same problem as you. Here's how I solved it. Um, I showed them the manufacturer that we get our made boxes from that fit exactly through the Royal Mail because they have a template, a letter, yeah. large letter, and parcel. 
and I was able to show him, look, this fits exactly through this template. Um, where are you based at? And he said, oh, I'm, uh, it's a, a little place called Newton Abbey just outside of Belfast. And I said, are you free today? And he was like, uh, well, yeah. And I said, here's my address, come over and I'll give you a couple of the boxes as samples and you can have a go at it. You can have a look and see if it, if it fits. And he was, he was quite taken aback. He was delighted that I had done this for him. And it was really nice to get to meet the someone. Now I'd never met the guy before, but just to be able to use the experience I had, because if you can see if, if you're posting out 15, 20, 30 products a day, that postage difference between just a large letter and having to send it as a parcel, that soon adds up. And I knew that from experience that it soon adds up. So if I was able to help him doing something as small as giving him a couple of my boxes with the link to where I get the boxes from, and he's able to go away um, and post his stuff and save that sort of money, then that that's the sort of thing I'm talking about, about supporting other businesses as well. Yeah. Okay, just, just another thing I want to mention as well. I've had this a couple of times before where people have come to me and said, I've, I've mentioned about shopping local and they're like, oh, but I can get this from Amazon or eBay or whatever for a pound 50 less or two pounds less. Okay, that's all well and good, but you, you don't get the personal service you do with somebody if you shop local. Um, okay, it may cost a pound 50 more than buying it off Amazon, but you're not just supporting that business you're basically keeping the money in the economy um, around your local area as well yeah. you yeah. are helping a dad to go and do stuff with his kids you're not paying a billionaire's interest yeah. in his fifth his fifth mansion or villa somewhere in the south of france you're helping someone local to be able to help his own family and the money's going to go back into the economy they're going to spend it somewhere local as well whether it's in the shop or something like that as well um but i would encourage people to always have a look locally okay if you can't find it locally or you need something that can't be delivered within a couple of days then okay it's your money you can spend it wherever you want but if you shop local you're helping not only the person that has that business as well, but you're also help, helping the local area because the money stays in the area too. That's right, yeah. And I think a lot of people actually don't realise that because we have been, we're so under so much pressure, at least a lot of us are under a lot of pressure financially. It's like every cent matters. But what they don't understand is that cent, if you spend it with a local business, it's going to be spent back into the local yeah, area. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And in that turn, we're actually supporting each other. And hopefully then our businesses, our communities will become more vibrant and more self-sufficient as well, because we're not going to Amazon. We're not going to e, you know, to the to the big millionaires, as you say. You know, we're, we're keeping it within mm -hmm. ourselves. Yeah, oh no, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I'm really loving this conversation, Paul. I'm delighted uh, we've had the chance to actually meet. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's the first time we've actually had a chance to speak as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. So I'm going to wrap up now, but before I do, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about? Um, yeah, well, I suppose this is the, this is the, the Paul sales pitch here. Um, okay. We have a lot. We do have products coming online. We are currently looking into um, wireless charging as well, which is going to be a new thing. Um, if I can just show you, right? This is one of our wired chargers. The wired. wired charger. Oh, wired. This That's is the wired. wired one. Yeah, but okay. the one we're looking at, the one that we're trying to get the design right, it's not right at the moment, and I'm not going to launch a product that I'm not completely happy with. This is why it's okay. taken a long time to do. Okay. But you basically would have something similar to this but it's, uh -huh. it doesn't have the wires here. There's my phone here, I'll use an example. You just set your phone on it. There's no wires involved and your phone gets charged wirelessly. Oh. That's that's something we're gonna be doing. Excellent. Um, we've recently launched our content creator kits. Um, these are for sort of your, your okay, it is geared more towards the younger generation in terms of their TikTok, their content creation videos, things like makeup tutorials things like that but also we're getting people now buying these for things that i didn't even think about we have um a local girl a local customer and she's bought one she is an artist and she has bought one to use to do time lapse um art where she will be basically have the because the the, the unit itself comes with 
uh, control lighting and it comes with a, a holder that you can hold your phone. And she's gonna be able to sit and draw, but do it in time-lapse and do time-lapse video. Um, so things like that as well as the, the what I would say, the, the younger generation looking to, to do their TikTok. Um, that sort of products coming online. We obviously have our glow in the dark uh, charging cables that were, I would say we're probably more well known for the glow in the dark cables now than we are for the power banks or anything else. Well. Yeah, yeah. So um, it, it's daylight. Otherwise, I would take one out. I did actually before we came online um, live. I did take one out to have a look to see what it would look like on camera. But I'm right beside the window here and even with the curtains shut there's a lot of light coming in you can't really see the lighting effect so um I, I, there's no point in me pulling out it would just look like a, a normal white wire but okay. it come, comes in a very little small pack like that and it comes with the, the three different phone connectors that you need they're magnetic so it just slots straight into your your phone i will actually show you something hold on right okay. this is the red this is a red one here this is my own personal one obviously okay. being a liverpool fan has to be red ah <laughs> you must so, be happy then are you at the moment yeah, with well, liverpool it's, it's taken 30 years i'm really happy so you have the <laughs> end of it here i don't know if you can see the end of this is the actual yeah. connector rather yeah. it just pops into place it's magnetic oh excellent you're, you're finished, you, just, you keep that in your phone and that stops any dust and stuff coming into your phone but you want to oh. charge it just snaps on magnetically so little things like that um just to make it handy okay it's not rocket science having to plug cables in but, yeah, if but you, it's unique <laughs> if it's unique it's a glow in the dark it's a it's a light show and if you have multiple gadgets you don't have multiple cables you just use the same cable but the different little connectors and okay. you can just pop 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 anytime you need to do stuff so again there's a convenience thing so yes there's stuff in the pipeline um products coming through um but we, we may talk about those another day so i'm not going to give away too many secrets at the moment excellent well i look forward to interviewing you again then paul yeah um, oh, anytime i enjoyed this. catching up good. yeah yeah yeah, and next time maybe we can do a bit of screen sharing because we wanted to do that, but I uh, uh, just didn't get time to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we've been chatting quite a while. It's been good, though. I've enjoyed it, yeah. really. Thanks, thanks for having me on. It's been really oh, good. Oh, you're welcome. For, for last night, for the, the host and the chat, it was good fun as well. So, oh. yeah, Gary, if you're watching this, getting your cable posted out to you today, congratulations on the win. So oh, yes. she, was, she was the lucky yeah. winner of the, the multicolored cable. And I think Get that will. down to you as soon as possible. Excellent. Paul, thank you so much. You're a fantastic guest. Really enjoyed having you on, and I thank really you. enjoyed meeting you as well. The connector of dots is uh, myself and Sam. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hello, Sharon. You're still on. Thank you. Yeah. Listen, uh, I hope the rain stays off for you. Yeah, um, I have no <laughs> to do some yeah. recent. Bit of exercise gets to meet some customers face to face because we've been using Royal Mail and because a lot of our customers are in the, the mainland UK, I don't get a chance to meet too many local customers. So it's really nice just to be able to go out and give somebody their, their envelope, get their reaction as they see their own wee personalized label on their on their pack as well. Just it's a small thing. So it's, I'll, I'll, it's I'll say it again. It's yeah, it's the tiny things that matter. Like, you know, it always is. And as a calligrapher, I can go, yeah, absolutely, 100%. And well done. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, Paul, I'm going to let you go. Thanks again. And uh, take care. That'll do. Right, folks, all the best. Take care. See you later. Bye.